No, how do I? Dig it. No. Dude, I want to leave. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I'm getting attacked by the fish. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dredge. And we left off the previous episode. We, of course, were just kind of trying to learn a little bit of how this game works, how the mechanics are actually working on this game, and what we're supposed to do in order to start making some income. And I think what I'm gonna do here is, first of all, let me see if I have any crabs. Um, okay, so we only have two crabs in here. And apparently it also needs repairs. So let me take all. Let me also pick it up because we are going to have to fix that thing before, before I'm going to throw it back in the water. This one only has one crab. So I guess I'm just going to grab that one. Let's do a little bit of uh, fishing here as well. There we go. And before I'm going to go anywhere, I'm actually going to make my way back to try to get rid of the uh, fishes that I just caught right now. Just to make sure my inventory space is gonna have enough room for new fishies and stuff. There we go. Man, this is such... Oh, look at this fish. This is such a relaxing game. I'm really, really having a lot of fun with this one. And I love it that it's getting really, really creepy as well. Every single time you're playing. During the night time. It's getting very, very dangerous. Uh, let's get this one. And I think that is going to be about it because I have nothing, no more room. At the same time, let me also stop the lights here. We don't need the lights on. And let's just sell off all the fish that we just got. Alright, fishmonger. Hey, have you got any crabs for, for that order? I mean, I have the small one, but I think I already placed the small one. Yeah, I need to find, like, a fiddler crab. Um, which, uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where to look for that guy. I'm gonna be guessing I gotta look uh, somewhere else for that one. But first, some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, pick up... So, Gil plays daughter with eyeballs. But scanning frantically, the eyes see right through. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to... So this one. I didn't really get anything special out of it, so uh, let's just do that. Uh, next up, let me go for the mayor here. What can I do for you? I want to ask about the weather region. Actually, I wanted to... Hmm. I wanted to pay my debt, but... Have I already paid my debt? I don't even know. Because I'm not getting that option to pay my debt anymore. So, I'm not sure exactly what this is all about. Dark research. Do I have anything to research? Uh, no, I do not have any more research points. If I go to my storage, um, nothing here that we can get. But what I'm really trying to get right now, um, of course, I could buy this one the basic brawl net. Maybe I need this one to catch me that crap. The simple design was passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those that want to explore the oceans. I think it is super expensive, and I do not have that just yet. I think what I'm going to get is one of these lights, to be honest. There we go. We got a light. Um, other than that, I want to go to the dry docks. And I want to place a wood piece over here. Because I do have one in my storage. There we go. Let me go to the dry docks here place this one and I just need more money now let's go ahead and fix it uh, oh hold up at the same time how do I fix um, this one who's gonna fix this for me I wonder hmm is the fisherman gonna fix it you can sell it to him Pick up this card. Wait, how do you... I don't know how to fix these things. So all the fish. So you can sell this thing for 50. Oh my god, but it's costing 100. What the? Are you kidding me? Um, also, I'm noticing that I finished up this book. And now it's saying 15% resilience to panic. Ah, so because I read this, I got 15% resilience to panic. Seriously. So this means I can go to another book. For example, this one. 
And once I finish reading this one, so I'm also going to get an upgrade. Oh, that is so cool that that happens. Alright, so we got a common crab. Uh, the fishing mug wants a common crab and a fiddler crab. I don't really know where to get a fiddler crab, though. Uh, if I go for an encyclopedia, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think this is going to tell me anything about uh, where I can find the crabs. This only tells you information about the crabs that we already caught, right? So we have this one, and this is the fiddle crab. But um, it's not really telling me where you can find it. Devil's Spine, Twisted Strand. Oh, never mind, it does. So you can find it in the marrows. I think you can also find it in these ones as well. Maybe. Not sure. All right, anyway, uh, in that case, let's just get off. And... So this one is saying plenty. Now, what if I change my location and place this one somewhere else? Um, let me keep her going this way a little bit. What is that sound? This game is the creepiest game ever. Place this here. Another one. Okay. I want to catch me as many fishes as possible, start selling them, and start earning some income. Because we are kind of struggling a little bit with the money at the moment. Uh, I don't think I wanted to throw that, but I guess we have to. Uh, hold up, buddy. Let me get me the light and turn it back on. And let me try to catch me some of these fellas. Okay, there's one. Another squid here. Ooh, look at that weird one. Alright, and that should be it for now. Uh, let me make my way to Little Marrow here. Just to get rid of the earrings that we have on. And uh, make a few more coins. So we got the trader. Alright, so we can sell this coin, uh, this earring and this earring for 50, both of them. Perfect. And I think that's about it. This guy's not gonna sell me anything anymore. And if I go into my storage, of course, nothing we can do here. Uh, what do we got here? A small crab, unfortunately. Alright, keep it going, buddy. I don't know how to catch me that big one, though. I really don't know. So, let me dock you for a second. Fishmonger... Uh, I did not get the big buddy. I did not get the big crab. I don't know where to find that one. But uh, here you are. That's a lot of fishies. We're finally getting a ton of money as well. Alright. Here we're going. So, if I check the map, I think what I want to go is the greater... No, no. You know what? Let me go to the left side over here. Let's check uh, the left side first. Also, turn off the light, grab this one. Uh, let me try to catch me some of these. Right, there we go. Just two should be enough. And uh, that is good for now. We cannot catch these big fishes, unfortunately. What do we got here? Is this wood? I think this is wood. Yeah, we need wood. So let me get me some dredge here. Uh, nope, this is an engine actually. Much, much better. Let's grab another one. Okay. Let me try to figure this out. So first of all... Engine's gonna go here. And I think that is about it. Alright, perfect. What are these? Ooh, flounders. They're quite big. That's the only problem that I have with the flounders. And the location that I'm trying to get to is straight up ahead. Alexa, backlight 100%. Ooh. What was that? Yeah, we. I, I 
think I kind of see that colorful wind. Maybe coming out of my boat, I don't even know. But what I gotta do is land over here for a second. Alright, so we got a material pile. Hmm. Uh, this is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. Ah, so this is where I gotta bring these to. Okay, I guess. Well, we have it. Why not? So I just gotta bring him uh, two more lumber. And I'm probably gonna be able to get me some money out of it as well. Huh. That was not bad. In that case, let me look for some wood over here because I think I may be able to find some. Alright, let's grab some more dredge. I cannot wait to get myself a uh, better engine so I can uh, be able to sail my boat a little bit faster and explore further away places. And I think that is going to be it. Let's grab more. Oh god, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need light. This is really creepy. Ooh, what is this? A goblet. What? Uh, actually, let me place it in there. Let me grab a little bit more of this. Hopefully that large fish... It's kind of tricking me that he's a boat. It's not going to show up and uh, catch me here. Because that would be so bad. Oh, did I just find the bug? Create engine operation, reading complete. Oh, I just read another book, and because of that, I just got another thing of a jig unlocked. Awesome. Okay. Come on, buddy. We gotta get out of here. Nighttime has arrived, and it's super duper creepy. I don't think you can sleep here because it's uh there's no light in here. Can you? Oh you can! Never mind. In that case, let me first of all give this guy the woods. Here we go. You delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Alright, I will. And let's just get some rest. Okay, so apparently you can rest up here. Hmm. I had no idea. That is not bad at all then. Not bad at all. Uh, so if I check the map, we finished up this mission. Oh, so these points are telling you where you have um, little crabs off. Oh, I get it. So you don't really have to remember where you left them. It's not that bad. Uh, you know what? Let me check this island straight up ahead while we're at it. We definitely have a really full inventory, but I do have a few more slots that I can actually use to get even more stuff. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, so that is a rank. Okay, you know what? I may be able to find some awesome stuff over here. Uh, let me check this one first. Shapes in the deep. Okay, so for this one, we got a chain. Unfortunately, nothing really that amazing. Let's check this one out. Alright, this one is, I think, kind of like a pocket watch. And there is another one back here as well. And another pocket watch. Yeah, unfortunately this is really not something truly amazing that we just found. But I guess it's good enough. I'm going to be able to get a few coins out of it uh, if I sell them to the uh, jeweler. Anything back there? No. Right. Anyway, uh, let me keep her going. I'm guessing these are mackerels. Yep, definitely mackerels. Uh, and let's try one more. Now, the fishies that we have on us are kind of rotting, so I gotta hurry back home to sell it off. Unless I want it to rot and not be able to sell it anymore. A storm is also brewing, so uh, let me try to hurry back home. Ooh, one of these weird fishies. We definitely want that. So let me try to catch me these ones instead. Uh, at the same time, mess it up. Dang it. 
Okay, so we got one of these weird ones. Let me first of all discard the rotting one. Place this one here. Take it. Okay, that one's also rotting. I'm pretty sure about it, right? Yeah, this one is also rotting. So discard. Place this one here. And I think that is about it. Oh, there we go. We got the big one, the Fiddler. Um, You know what? I'm not going to be able to grab it just yet. Let me go ahead and get rid of the fishes that we have on us yet. And then I'm going to grab the Fiddler. Oh, my God. <laughs> Something bad was about to happen there. So, first of all, let me sell off all of these. Perfect. Let me disconnect. And let me grab the Fiddler here. Take all. Uh, also, apparently this one needs repair, whatever that means. So, does that mean that I can actually... Oh, it's saying that it's missing the item. Hmm. So, how do I fix that thing so I can throw it back in again? I don't know. Don't even know. But what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to go to the fishmonger again. Because we finally have... The fish that he requested. Here we go, buddy. Oh, we got 59 out of that. Not bad. The fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. This will do. I'm glad you got some use out of the, that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyards. Hmm. Okay, so you can repair them. I have one special request for you. As you have seen, some fish around here can develop um, odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh or one of these mutants? Um, they get mad? Well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, and it will do. Just keep this between me and you. All right, so this one needs repair. And I wonder how I'm actually going to be able to. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Just wasted three hours, unfortunately. It's fine. Um, I'm going to buy another one that's new. And this time I'm going to have to fix it up. So let me go to the shipwright. So how do you fix this? Is this where you gotta fix it? Uh, repair all. Ah, there we go. So that's how you fix it. You go for repair. So this also repairs your hull. And of course, it also repairs um, the stuff in your inventory. I get it now. Okay, that makes sense. That definitely, definitely makes sense. Alright, in that case, let me go to the fishmonger. Sell that. Uh, let me go to the dry docks. Upgrade this. And the reason I wanted to upgrade that is because now I can go into my storage. And guess what? I can place this engine here. And I think what this engine does, whenever something creepy is chasing me, I guess, uh, this engine is going to pump more and more and more, be faster and faster. So we definitely, definitely want that. Um, now, another thing that I want to do is leave that piece of wood. I guess in here. Because I need one more wood and one more scrap so I can uh, get more upgrades going. Now, uh, let me go for the missions for a second. Oh, I finished up another book. Never mind. So this one is giving us resistance to panic. And this one is in jeans provides 5% uh, more movement speed. Let's go for this book next. And what I want to go for is... So, this guy wants relics. He wants a Gale Cliff. Uh, actually, no. He wants me to find a music box. Find the uh, ring. A necklace. Find the watch. And find the key. So, of course, this thing that we got in our adventure here is not what I needed. Okay. Uh, in that case, let me go again for the dry dock. Oh, I cannot place anything here. Uh, including these ones, I cannot place them. Okay, never mind. Well, let me go to the storage. Leave all of these behind. We are going to sell them off, of course. And these are going to go in the water so I can catch me more crabs. Alright, and uh, all we got to do now is just also chat with the builder here. But first, let me get some rest. Alright, and let me chat with the builder. Hey, you done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Oh, I gotta pick her up and take her to that location. Hmm. 
could really see you. Great Amaru, I'm onward bound. Okay, so apparently I got to take her um, to that space. So she can build herself, I guess, a cabin. And why the heck did I just run into that? <laughs> hold up, hold up. I don't know what happened there. Uh, let me go to... Not here. We got to go to here and fix up my hole. Unfortunately, we wasted 30 bucks. That's fine. Hopefully, I'm going to pay attention next time. Uh, let me get rid of one of those. Oh, hold up. We got some really creepy fishies here. There's one. That's what I'm talking about. And another one right up here. Awesome! These creepy fishies are super awesome. And we got ourselves a really big uh, cod. Do we have any more weird fishies around here? I don't see any more. Let me just throw that away. And let's see. Nine hours remaining. Um, I cannot take the fishy just yet, so let's keep her going. And of course, if I want to grab me a flounder, I'm not going to have any space to hold it in. Oh, but I do see a weird fish on this side. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's grab it. Oh, but this is one of those that's pretty difficult to hold. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to have any space to hold this one, unfortunately. Unless I put some stuff in the inventory here and then I go ahead and grab it. So let me do that. So if I go here, storage. I can definitely get rid of these fishies. Get off. And now let me try to catch this weird fish. go. That's what I'm talking about. And these ones are actually worth quite a lot of coins. And that is the reason why I really wanted it. You know what? Hold up. Can I turn it like that? <laughs> yes, we can. Um, but even if I turn it like that, it's still pretty difficult to store stuff in here. Well, we'll add it. I'm going to sell everything that I have. Let's just do that first. So, first of all, let me go to Fishmonger. Have you got any mutants with you? Yes? Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same. Yep, there we go, buddy. Mm, the Fishmonger takes the aberration fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Mm, yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth, and why don't you just take these two? Oh! No way! He got me two of these ones for upgrades. Hmm. Do you hear that? It sounds like the uh, faintest whispering. Seriously? You listen. Silence. In the silentness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to, to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. What? Well, I have nothing anymore, buddy. The fishmonger slams the door behind you. You hear the heavy scrapping of a metal bar sliding across. Oh god. I hope, um... I hope it's gonna be all good. <laughs> Let me just grab these ones. These ones as well while we're at it. Let me go for the fishmonger. Oh, never mind. I cannot sell anything. Are you kidding me? These are gonna go bad, buddy. Gosh dang it. Yep, I guess uh, nothing we can do there now, until this guy's gonna open up again. Uh, let me just go for the research. And this time I actually want to start researching some of my engines, to be honest. Uh, twin prop engine. What? Jet drive engine, are you kidding me? A relative new design, this unit propels water through the system more, effic more efficiently than outboard propeller setups. Let's get this one going. Alright. And next up, let me keep on making my way towards the small island so we can get um, the builder delivered to his location. Turn this off for now. Alright, these are probably mackerels. But I'm looking for some really weird fishies though. That's what I'm trying to find. What is that? Mackerel. 
All right, there we go. We made it. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built up here. You're welcome back anytime. She searches into her toolbox and puts out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have a uh, hand. Ooh, there we go. So we're going to be able to make more upgrades, of course. Yes, please. Well, you know what? That was not a bad decision to get her uh, thingy done. Because now we're going to be able to get more upgrades going. Uh, let me just explore a little bit before I go back home. And grab a few more materials here, I guess. All right, we got some scrap. I'm not gonna say no to that. Give me more. Nighttime is coming, so I gotta hurry up. Okay, and more. I gotta turn on my lights. Wait, what? More? Take it, hold up. If I wanna be able to hold on to more. Mm, I don't think I can do anything about that, though. Because I have no more space to place one here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hold on more. Uh, hold up. Turn on the light. Oh, God. Really don't like this. Yeah, you know what? Let me just make my way back. This is really bad. And unfortunately, we cannot sell anything because the fishmonger is doing whatever he's doing. <laughs> Let me just get rid of these ones. Um, Let me go in the research table. And again, get this engine upgraded one more. And one more. I just need one more and it's going to be done. Perfect. Uh, Let me go for the shipwright. Actually, no. We gotta go for the dry docks. Because I gotta place one engine over here. And I just need one more wood. I'm gonna be able to get that upgrade as well. And lastly, in the storage, is gonna go these two engines. Perfect. Perfect indeed. Alright, uh, let's get some sleep then. Hopefully the fishmonger is gonna allow me now to start selling stuff. Because these are not gonna be fresh for long. Alright, let's see. Seriously, the fishmonger door is barrel from the inside. What the heck, dude? I gotta sell you my stuff, dude. Come on. These are all gonna go bad if I don't do that. Mm. That is super annoying, but nothing I can do about it then, eh? Ooh, I think I just finished up another book, which means I gotta go for this one. So this one's giving me rods, real, real fish, and 10% more efficiently. Not bad. Go for the trader. A returning customer. Please, take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. He pulls a book from a uh, stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. Oh, it's covered in dust, but otherwise seems in good condition. Awesome. Uh, sell all this stuff. There we go. So we're going to have another book we're going to be able to read. Uh, let me go for the research. And... Oh, never mind. I don't have any more research. I thought for a second that he actually gave me research. In that case... Let me go ahead and grab me the crabs. Alright. Take and also pick this up because this one needs to be repaired. Uh, let me catch me one of these fellas, I guess. Alright, let me just get rid of... Um, I mean, I would love to get rid of some sub, but that fishmonger dude... Just doesn't want to open anymore. Look at that. What am I supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to go to a different island to start selling my stuff, to be honest. Yeah, these are rotting. So, unless I do something fast about it, I'm screwed. Let me go to the Greater Marrow. Behind the Greater Marrow here. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, since the fishmonger is not open, there is nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Absolutely nothing I can do about it. So, let me first of all give me some wood. That guy needs to open up again because I cannot really go to a different location and start selling my fishes. It's way too far away. Okay, so this is not giving me wood, unfortunately. That's fine. And another one. Perfect. 
Turn on the lights, and let's see what we can catch here. And of course, some of these weird fishies are gonna make their way into my boat again. Um, man, I would love to get another one, though. If I place this one here, maybe I could. This one as well. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have another slot here. Come on, give me a weird one. There we go, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, these are pretty large. No! How do I... Dig it! No! Dude, I want to leave! I gotta go back, I gotta go back. I'm getting attacked by the fish. How didn't he swallow me, though? I think he didn't manage to swallow me because I was... Oh god, no, 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 no. I think he didn't manage to eat me there because uh, I was actually in the fishing mode, that's why. But uh, he definitely damaged me a little bit. Gosh dang it. That scared the living dead out of me. <laughs> I felt I was about to get attacked by something. Alright, go back here. And repair. Thankfully, I didn't lose any fishies. Ah, oh, fishmonger. There we go. Ugh, lighting headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, buddy, I have stuff to sell you. Stuff that's about to go bad. And, of course, some of the stuff that I had went bad already. It already started rotting. Uh, so, let me go for the fishmonger. Sell. Go back to my storage again. Fishmonger, sell, uh, storage again, and sell. There we go. At least I got quite a bit of coins. Look at that. We have $600. Are you kidding me? That is not bad. Let me get rid of these ones. You know what? Let me see if I can get rid of all this rotten stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can. Perfect. I'm pretty sure you don't need the rotten stuff because it's taking inventory space for no reason. Okay. And, um. I think we're all good? Yeah. I don't have anything for research, so let's just get some rest. Alright, what I'm gonna do next? I wanna go for the back. Uh, let me grab this little guy. I want to see what that light is all about, to be honest. I really want to see what that light is all about. So, let me go for this one, I guess. Oh, you know what? That light is only shining during the nighttime. Of course it is. Of course it is. Well, in that case, let me just try to catch me some fishies and wait for nighttime to come. Uh, let me catch me one more of these. And one more. All right, that'll do. No, I don't want any more of these. I want to see what this is all about. Oh, so you can explore here during the daytime. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. We got the key that we needed. Awesome. So this one is needed for a mission. Okay. Pursuit updated. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, in that case, uh, let me keep on checking the map for a second. Because you guys can see we have no more X's uh, in the map. So we kind of explore the location that I wanted to explore here. Let me get me some mackerels. Ooh, look at this weird mackerel. What? That is awesome. And I don't have any more space in the inventory, so let us see. Oh, hold up. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Hmm. Maybe if I come here during the nighttime, 
Yeah, maybe if I come here during the night time, it is gonna be a little bit different. So we're definitely gonna have to come back. Ooh, we finished up another book. Awesome. Uh, so what did this one give me? So we have resilience, 10% uh, chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with rods. Rods will fish uh, will uh, reel the fish faster, and engines provide 5%. In that case, let's go for the final buck. That's not bad. So of course, when you're playing this game, it's really important that you read those books that you get, because they are going to increase um, your character's level quite a bit. Now, let's see what it's going to give me. Uh, small crabs, sure. Go. Let's sell these two off. And let's see if this is going to be also a small crab. Nope, it's a large one. So this means I got to first of all land it here for a second. Let me go for the fishmonger. Get rid of all of these. Um, what else? Let me place the key here, so I don't have it in my inventory, of course, taking up space. Alright, that's more like it. Nighttime is creepy, and nighttime may be the only time where I'm going to be able to get me something special out of that. And at the same time, let's also collect this. Just to get some creepy fishies, hopefully. Nope, nothing creepy here. Come on, buddy, give me a creepy fish. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's keep it going. So, let us see what this is. Hopefully now we can actually interact with it during the night time. The stone hums quietly, yada yada yada. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Oh no 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 no. Leave me alone, buddy. Now, what is this light in this corner here? Oh, another one of these stones. A slab of rocks just puts the water, bearing crude symbols of carved fish. Oh, what? So apparently, if I give this the fishes that it's requesting, I'm probably gonna be able to get something returned. What can I actually place whatever fish in here? Um, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. What? So can I place any random fish in here, I wonder? Or only the curved fish? I feel like I gotta bring the cod in here, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like I gotta bring back the rock, some cods. Um, I am gonna rest. I know that I need some cod, but uh, I think I'm just gonna grab some cod, sort in my inventory, and when nighttime comes, go to that rock and place it in there. Uh, for now, though, I gotta get me some wood, and I still don't have any wood. Now, hold up. Before we do anything, I do have the hydraulic rods that I can buy and replace with this one. There we go. Can I sell this one? Sure, let's just set it off. Alright, we got more wood, and that's gonna be it. Let me try to catch me these large fishes as well while we're at it. And then I'm gonna start looking for cods. Yes, we can catch these big ones. Awesome. And we got ourselves a really, really big one. Um, perfect. Trophy, not bad. Finally, I can get an upgrade. Oh, nope, not this, buddy. I need this. There we go. Alright, so this is giving you one more slot for one more line, which is great. Next up, it's going to be... What is this, Ivan? Materials required. So I'm going to need quite a bit of materials. I think I do have quite a bit in my inventory, but first... Let me go in here and grab me another light. There we go. Next, let me go in the fishmonger. Set him off all these fishes. Look at that, 151. We have so much money. So much money. Uh, and next, let me go in here. Storage. Ah, so you can actually pull stuff from your storage. You don't have to put it in your inventory. That is so cool. 
All right, put these ones in as well. And next time I'm just gonna need refined metal, metal, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna find it, and three more pieces of wood. All right, not bad. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need lights actually. Oh, so much better. I think my lights have improved a little bit. Yeah, it definitely looks like I'm lighting up so much more than I was before. Let me try to catch me some of these big guys. There we go, there's one. Two. And three, because I'm not going to be able to carry any more. And I think we also finished up the final book. Yes. 10% uh, is now reduced fish stock. Rods will feel uh, real fish in. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what I got there, but let's, let's just keep on exploring. Oh, God. I don't know if it's a good idea to go towards those lines. I really don't think so. Let me try to catch me a big fish here. Oh, God. All right, it is what it is. Let me just make my way to the building here. Let's see if she's done, because it looks like she's already built up her house. Look at that. No way. Uh, that is definitely an enemy coming over. So I definitely don't want to deal with that guy. Hey, you. Thanks again for helping me move out. Uh, I managed to get myself a nice setup. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. Hmm. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but it's otherwise in good condition. If you ever need to use uh, the docks or store stuff here, be my guest. That guy was about to uh, attack me, so thankfully, I had the ability to rest up. Let me activate the funnel book. Select this active book. So this one is the engineer companion. Hmm. Oh, and now we can also store stuff here. Oh, that is not bad at all. Not bad at all. So because of that, let me actually make my way back up here. Turn off the lights. Oh, we got scrap, of course. And then I'm going to try to make my way back so that we can uh, start selling the pieces that we got before they rot. Okay, there's one scrap. And another. Uh, Stingray and... Ooh, you know what? Hold up, let's check this out. And that's going to be a large fish as well, but I don't know if I have enough space to, um... Oh, that's an SOS! Wait, what? That's a castaway! I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you are a sigh for, the, for these sore eyes! You look terrible! Are you okay? Let's go with... What happened? I washed up here. Ah, oh, it must be two weeks ago for now. We're in rough seas, and when a wave hit our bro sides, I was just shoulder overside and swept away. Are you kidding me? I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by years. Did the boys uh, send you looking for me? Uh, no. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure they're out there looking at ways. Uh, can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they uh, stop next. Yes, of course I will, buddy. And thankfully, we do have some spots to, uh, to grab them. The castaway climbs aboard. Oh, man, poor fella. <laughs> Poor fella. Luckily, we found them. Let me see if I can get me some wood here, though. Yeah, I don't think I can store this, unfortunately. Hmm. Definitely, definitely cannot store it. So, let me make my way to a uh, little marrow. To get rid of this fella. Yeah, I cannot grab me some of these big ones, unfortunately. Now, what about the cards? Nope, I cannot store any card either. But I ain't gonna do my best to try to get me some cod, as I really, really want to get uh, that cod delivered to that stone. Hopefully that stone is gonna still be there, though. And not disappeared. So first of all, let me get rid of this fella. Oh, oh the sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. 
He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, so uh, as you can imagine. And I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something to you. He removes a signed ring from his uh, left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with a symbol of a captain's wheel. Hmm. On the better horizon, friends. Farewell. I'm not even sure what he just gave me here, but um, I just get rid of these things. A ship's well sigil is emblazoned proudly on this ring. Such a symbol is uh, sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. Hmm. So if I place this one into my boat, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Anyway, I'm not sure what that is all about. Let me go for more cod then. Let me try to get me more cod. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. Okay, there's one. And the book is ready as well. Awesome. Oh my god, that's a weird one. Not gonna say no to cards. Because I really, really want them for this night. I gotta try to sell them off. And get something in return. Or not really sell them off, but place for that stone and see what that stone is gonna give me. Alright, nighttime has arrived. Let me go for the light. I don't have any more space in the inventory. But let me just place all these cards in here and see what this is gonna do. So curious. Alright. So there's one. Two. Three. Oh, that's not good. Hold up. Pretty sure I gotta organize them somehow. Ah, there we go. And that's gonna be the last one. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When water recedes, you notice something has lodged against rock. What? No way. I just got myself a um, fishing device. What? What is this? A headline reel wrapped in a length of a stretch of uh, sinew. One end is uh, grafted to a crude bone hook. So this is good for coastal and shallow. Ah, so this means I can actually remove these two and have this one instead to cover for both. Uh, fishing speed is plus 6%. This one is plus 11. This one is plus 44. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about this. Status operational. I think I could actually remove this one and have this one installed instead. But, um... I guess I'm just gonna have to store it in here for now. Okay. I have a feeling you can still do this and get more rewards out of it if you keep on doing it. Yeah, I'm not humps in sure. But that was super weird. You know what I'm gonna do? I know it's nighttime and it's very creepy. But let me make my way to this fella. No, 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 buddy. You ain't gonna catch me. And uh, let me get rid of some stuff. What is it? Um, where should I look? Take a look at these trinkets. Do not bother me with common clutter. <laughs> Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, let me go to my storage then. Grab the key. And now I can give it to him. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me! You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Hmm. Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector's growls agitated. Hmm. It seems the pieces we were looking for have traveled further than I anticipated, uh, much further than I suspected. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages of his book and mutters something low under the uh, his breath. I think this guy is a wizard. A burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Oh, we got an ability unlocked. Haste. What? Now go. We have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris onto the southeast towards Gill Cliff. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on the map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Um... 
do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you for a moment. A look of something like regret flashes of his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Uh, how long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I need to focus on other endeavors. I found out that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching towards into the deep. Anything else? Um, the words you read in front of the book, what did they do to me? Uh, the book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there anything in particular you should know about it? Yes, haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impel a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engine. Ah. So I think I just got myself a boost. But of course, if I use it, it may not be um, good for my boat. I don't think there's anything in the uh, spot here. Haste adds speed to your engine, but increase panic and engine heat. Select it with E. Ah, so that's the haste. And you can also, of course, activate it if you want to. Hold up, let's see what we got back here while we're at it. The stones hum quietly, sending ripples through the air around the faint shapes, yada yada yada. Place your hands, nothing happens. I think you gotta wait for these stones to activate somehow. To kind of tell me what type of fishies it wants. Oh god, that thing is coming for me. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta go, we gotta go. Jeez, dude. Man, this is actually pretty cool having this thing. Just running away from uh, that fish attacking. That is so cool. Alright, in that case. Let me first of all grab this. Take. And uh, let us see what we can do here. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Um, you were expecting something or somebody else? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, he turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Hmm. Interesting. Can I talk to her more about it? What's with the fog around here? Nobody knows. It changes recently. It lingers in the morning now, where before it didn't seem to have the strength. Even in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice cancelled in the shadows, waiting for night to sweep the islands. She glances up at the lighthouse. If this light should ever falter, then God help us. Um, what about the mayor? I want to ask about the region. Nah, it doesn't like we can chat anything about this area with Mayor. So let me first of all sell off everything that I have. That guy as well. Um, let me go for. Hold up, I don't want to sell it. How do I install that thing? Let me go for my storage. And let me install this thing here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like this is going to be much, much better because... I don't know. I feel like I would like to replace it with the custom rod. The thing about the custom rod is that the fishing speed is 44% faster. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and see how this goes. Oh, look at these lights. Oh, you know what? You know I'm going to buy them. You guys know I'm going to buy these. Um... I cannot place them here. Ah. So you can get a refund. Uh, let me... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me go here. Sell that and sell that. And grabbing these large lights instead. There we go, buddy. Alright. That's more like it. Okay. And I think that is... About everything for now. But what I want to do right now is check the map for a second because apparently I got to make my way all the way to this side, which is pretty far away. But you know what? We're going to try it. 